Hello and welcome to my latest video. Uh, this starts a sort of new uh, uh, series of videos I'll be uh, sort of coming back to now and again in amongst all my other ones. Um, what this would be, it would be classic PC games that I liked back uh, you know, late 90s, uh, early 2000s, that sort of era. Um, sort of eclectic uh, genres really. Real-time strategy, role-play games, um, yeah, anything I remember and I can get hold of. Um, normally, be stuff that you can still get now, so you don't have to have your original copy if you wanted to play it. Uh, you should be able to get um, most of the ones uh, on Steam or Blizzard or whatever. Okay, so we're going to kick this off with um, Diablo 2, which I spent hours and hours on. Back, uh, back about 15, 20 years ago, whenever it was out, I can't remember. I did have the original uh, on CD. I did have the expansion as well. Um, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed the game. Um, so I'd like to uh, play through a little bit of it now. Um, I won't be reviewing the games as such. I'll be putting my thoughts into it. And so maybe some. some uh, methods of uh, how it works um, but yeah Diablo 2 uh, I never had the original Diablo sadly but um, this this came out and I was in PC World one day and I saw it and I thought oh that looks good let's buy it um, so you can play with single player or multiplayer um, you can play online with battle.net which still works now believe it or not uh, let's try it let's have a look Password in. There we go. Look, yes. So you can use your characters, uh, join join the existing game. See, look, there's some games going on here. That one's got six players. That's this one's got three. So yeah, yeah. So all, all still works, believe it or not. But we we won't. Uh, be doing that today. I used to play a lot with my brother. We used to play on, on the LAN, or we'd um, sort of do dial-up, dial-up modem to dial-up modem, which seemed to work reasonably well. Okay. Um, yeah. So let's go. Let's do a new character for this. Um, so it's a hack and slash RPG type game. Uh, I can't remember really the premise of the story. Um, I know you end up in a place called Tristram, and there's rumours that Diablo, the evil, evil, whatever creature, is back. And um, yeah, so let's uh, let's start off with that's uh, that's one I was using. It's a Paladin. So let's do a new one. Um, on the original, you only had four different character types, um, but this is the expanded version. So we've got an Amazon, uh, skilled with a spear and the bow, we've got an assassin, martial arts, a mind and body of deadly weapons. We've got a necromancer, my brother was always a necromancer. You can raise the dead and uh, do things. A barbarian, uh, just kick the crap out of anybody. Paladin, which I normally use. Um, sorceress, magic, fire, lightning and ice. And a druid, commanding the forces of nature. Some as wild beasts and raging storms to his side. Well, I've never used a druid before, so let's uh, let's try the druid. So, character name. I don't know what this expansion character tick box means, but we do start in the same. We do start with the same story as the uh, uh, original unexpanded version. We just got an extra character and hardcore. No, I'm no way good enough for that. Okay, so let's call. Uh, there we go. Okay. So Good day. This starts top down. We start in the rogue encampment. Uh, there's other characters uh, you meet in here uh, on the way, and who will give you quests. So it's a bit like Baldur's Gate in that way. Remember Baldur's Gate. Uh, obviously not turn-based like Baldur's Gate. Uh, you can just, you know, this thing sort of goes on behind the scenes. Um, hit tab and you get a map and you can see where people are. I normally keep the map on, but 
show show the graphics off. Um, the game. I'll keep the, keep the uh, map off for now. So the fact that I can't get away from this bloke here, he desperately talked to me. So. Oh, greetings, stranger. We're going to get the. Uh, I'm not surprised to see your kind we're get here. The story. Many adventurers have travelled this way since the recent troubles began. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. Well, some say that Diablo, the Lord of Terror, walks the world again. I don't know if I believe that, but a dark wanderer did travel this route a few weeks ago. He was headed east to the mountain pass guarded by the rogue monastery. Maybe it's nothing, but evil seems to have trailed in his wake. You see, shortly after the wanderer went through, the monastery's gates to the pass were closed, and strange creatures began ravaging the countryside. Until it's safer outside the camp and the gates are reopened, I'll remain here with my caravan. I hope to leave for Loot Gulane before the shadow that fell over Tristram consumes us all. If you're still alive then, I'll take you along. You should talk to Akara too. She seems to be the leader of this camp. Maybe she can tell you more. Okay, so he's going to take us somewhere later on. Um, yeah, he's not much use at the moment. Okay, so we need to go and talk to Akara. So if we look on the map, we're the blue one, and Akara is down here. So let's go find her. She is. And let's see, she's got an exclamation above her head. I am Akara, High Priestess of the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. I welcome you, traveler, to our camp. I've but I'm afraid I can offer you a poor shelter within these rickety walls. You see, our ancient sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. The mighty citadel from which we have guarded the gates to the east for generations has been corrupted by the evil demoness Andariel. I still can't believe it. But she turned many of our sister rogues against us and drove and us Dariel. from our ancestral home. Now the last defenders of the sisterhood are either dead or scattered throughout the wilderness. I implore you, stranger, please help us. Find a way to lift this terrible curse and we will pledge our loyalty to you for all time. All right, okay. There is a place of great evil in the wilderness. Here's our first quest. Kasha's rogue scouts have informed me that a cave nearby is filled with shadowy creatures and horrors from beyond so the grave. Go to a, a cave. I fear that these creatures are massing for an attack against our encampment. If you are sincere about helping us, Find the dark labyrinth and destroy the foul beasts. May the great eye watch over you. Okay, so I've got to find this cave and destroy all the beasts within it. Right, so we got our quest log here. Uh, we also can get that from here. Um, so look for the den in the wilderness outside the rogue's camp. Okay, we've got our character sheet here. Um, when we level up, this is our progress for leveling up here. And then um, we get extra points we can add to our strength, dexterity, etc. etc. We also have uh, skills as well, which we can do a secondary attack here. So that's my first attack as a normal attack. And, uh, I don't really have a secondary attack yet, but we'll pick that up when we learn new skills. Okay, so on the map, what's the way out of here? These are generated randomly uh, each time, the, the, the layouts, so you can't sort of remember where something is if you're doing a, a, uh, a new game. So, we're on the blood more now. So it begins. There's a creature, so I, I normally attack everything in sight to uh, level up. See, I've got a bit of progress on here, and then you pick up whatever they drop. So, we now got to find the den of evil. Right, let's attack him. By clicking him. And we can open the chest. Nothing in there. So, it's all done. All done using left click. Uh, 
And you can hold control down, which makes you run. Obviously your stamina, as shown here, is uh, limited. All these things. Oh, he's dropped something. Stamina potion, handy. Oh, there's a lot of them here. All right. Let's bash our way through them. So, as you can see, the uh, ball on the left is my health, and the ball on the right is my magic health. If I'm doing anything uh, magic, which I'm not at the moment because I haven't learned anything. Right, any more of these little shits? There's one. This uh, den of evil. Oh, I've levelled up from the looks of it. So, look, we've got new stats here. So, I've got six points. I'll get my strength back up to the others. Okay, I'm trying to even, even them all up a bit. So, that's my six points there. Uh, I've got a new skill here uh, summoning. I can summon a raven to peck out the eyes of my enemies. Or I can. Uh, Poison can summon a vine that spreads disease to all it contains. Okay. I've got this one. Unleash fiery chaos to burn your enemies. Okay. It's quite good to end. I can't do the rest. Shape shifting. Transform into a werewolf. Attack Raoul. Oh, that looks good. Do some proper attacks. So. Let's try that. So if I uh, that's my second attack. So if I, oh, that looks that looks amazing. Let's try it on these little things here. And pick, pick up objects there. Right. Oh, I like that. <laughs> so a quick right click and we're uh, we're back. The Den of Evil. Now I believe we are we've found um, where our quest is. So let's go into the Den of Evil. So, kill all the monsters this in the is den. Where evil hides. There we go. Top our manor up there. I'll leave the level. Okay, so. right, these, these shaman ones resurrect the others. So you can see, if you see them, kill them first. Then the ones with a big fiery wand. So that's a buckler we've got with defence six, and this one's defence four. So we'll sell this one later and keep this one. This club is no good, really. Old one. Wish I could use a sword. But I'm picking up gold. I can go back and buy one. So, see why I'm keeping the map up. Very handy to sort of track where, I'm, where I've been. And obviously, when, you, when your life there uh, runs low, you've got these potions here. And there's your mana there as well. Thank you. 
around here. Oh, yeah. looting a dead body. This one hasn't got anything. Oh, we've hit a dead end. So, let's pop around this way. Those identified scrolls are important. You pick up some items and you can't use them or you don't know what they are because they need identification. Right, I'm doing this in manner, don't I? Right, there's a shaman there. Let's get him first. So he doesn't bring the others back to life. I picked quite a few keys on the plane before. Never know what I do. Obviously, they unlock something. Maybe they can unlock a chest. Right, I've levelled up again. Improves duration of life when in werewolf form, lycanthropy. Right, we're we'll going for that. Okay. Werebear. Well. Wow. Coming out, so that's that's level six. You can do more skill in these, so I level them up because they're only at level one. But uh, yeah, I quite I quite like this werewolf, so I can get back to the werewolf now. And because uh, my mana was topped up, uh, I'll put another. Want some more skill points there. Fast, this wolf as well. And he's making short work of those gargantuan beasts. Uh, this is this is corpse fire. He's uh, undead spectral hit. See, it's a lot harder to kill. Unless you're aware, all flyers pick up these things here. Save that for when I'm in Trump Cena. Uh, my life force is only 38 at the moment. With the Paladin, you can cast Aura that sort of uses mana up but tops this up, which is more than handy. So if I get in trouble, I will swallow a potion. Right, I think I can't get out of this, this way, we'll have to go down the stairs. Bats flying around. Oh, I'm gonna need a potion here, I think. Might click that. Oh, that's a shaman. Pick up most stuff I can carry. Oh, well, that was it. <laughs> A 
Is that all of them? I think that's the lot. So let's uh, let's head back. Oops. Oh, I keep clicking out of the out of the game screen. I normally I'd play this in full screen mode. However, even with the uh, a special glide wrapper I'm using, OBS does not pick it up. Okay, so let's uh, let's head back. I'll take the map off. I pretty much know where I'm going. Let's just kill a few things on the way. <laughs> Which I like doing. Oh, the key. Uh, here we are, back at the camp. Right, this my life force should start sort of filling itself up now. I'm back at the camp. Lost where our car is. I know the game looks pretty dark at the moment, but yeah, it, you have cleansed the it does acknowledge the um, You've earned my trust. day and night, and yet different round of weather. Faith and humanity. Your reward is training in the skill of your training choice. Training in the skill of my choice, okay. So, we've got the shape shifting. Summoning. Let's get a, let's try a raven, shall we? What else have we got here? I'm going to see Charcy. I want to see if I can get a sword from her because this club is no good. I know I'm a druid, but. Hi there. I'm Charcy, the blacksmith here in camp. It's good to see some strong adventurers around here. Many of our sisters fought bravely against Diablo when he first attacked the town of Tristram. They came back to us true veterans, bearing some really powerful items. It seems like their victory was short-lived, though. Most of them are now corrupted by Andariel. Uh, Andariel again, right. Let's, let's see what we've got. So, I've got this armor here that's Defense 11, and this... Is defense 12, so I'm gonna sell this to her. See, now this cap is unidentified, so what we'll do is we'll use uh, identify scroll, and then it tells us what the cap does, so we can now equip it. Uh, we can sell this. That's defense four, that's defense six, so we'll sell this one. We don't get a lot. Uh, throwing knives, again, unidentified. So I'm not really going to be using that. Um, so let's sell this. Get a reasonable amount of gold, 903 for that. So that brings our gold to 1074. Uh, let's see what weapons. There's a scimitar, iron scimitar. That's damage 2 to 6. That one's 2 to 7. So that looks. There's 2 to 7 one that's going on. So let's buy that one. That's at 340 gold. Equip that. I think we can get very quick swappable weapons. Okay, also your weapons, you see you've got this durability, that's 22 to 22. When you use them, the durability goes down until they can end up knackered. So you can bring her back and she does a repair all equipment service. So I'm going to repair all. So that's the durability on this club, which I'll put as my second uh, weapon. 
Okay, and nothing much else really. So we might as well do uh, another quest. Hello. There we go. Welcome, there it is. Outlander, to our glorious hovel. I know you're here to challenge the evil that's driven us from our ancestral home. But know this. Akara may be our spiritual leader, but I command the rogues in battle. It will take more than just killing a few beasts in the wilderness to earn my trust. My rogue scouts have just reported an abomination in the monastery graveyard. Apparently, Andariel is not content to take only our living. Bloodraven, one of our finest captains in the battle against Diablo at Tristram, was also one of the first to be corrupted by Andariel. Now you'll find her in the monastery graveyard, right. raising our dead as zombies. So I'm kill we Blood cannot Raven. abide Raven this defilement. If you are truly our ally, you will help us destroy her. Okay. Look for Blood Raven in the burial grounds next to the cold plains. Off we go. Uh, I have no idea where the cold plains are. But, uh, so we can test out this uh, raven on the way. I'm sure there'll be some creatures on the way. So we can see on our map. Oh, that sword's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah, there's my raven. He joins me. This is an experience show. Don't know exactly what it does, but it says your experience teaches you well. So maybe we get double XP. Stamina, that'd be handy. Oh, so we're a dead end there and dead end here. Looking at the map by the by the river. I don't really need it at the moment. So it doesn't let me drink, but it tops up your mana and your life. There we go. Oh. Yeah, my little pet bird is helping me out there. These little quill rats. I do remember a similar uh, enemy in Boulder's game, actually. Those quill rats. Raven. Oh, more, more double XP things. Yeah. Okay, Fallen, I think they're called. Crack javelin. We can carry that. We can flog that into the chest. Healing potion, yep. Yeah. I'll have some of that. I haven't seen any shamans anyway. Oh, take some gold. Stats in. Take care. The corrupted rogues oh, in the wilderness ahead are not to, to be trifled. An 
next thing here. That's the coal plains, right? Yeah, so the burial ground is next next to the coal plains. I've lost me bird, I think. Me raven. Oh, I've done a new skill, yeah. Now I'm going to upskill the raven to level 4. Right, now these are waypoints, so you go over there, and that means you can travel between waypoints instantly. Which is more than handy. Oh! Right, where's me, uh, Raven? Discover a waypoint uh, like the, the before you can use it. I wonder if you can have more than one raven. Yeah, I've got two now. I need a healing potion. Oh, man, when it says I'm overburdened, that's just too much in here for me to carry. Oh, see, i coming back to life, there's a shame in here. Oh. Right, I love these potions. Amulet as well, another potion. I can't carry any. Ravens take care of them. Any more shamans kicking about? Oh. There's one there. Two here. An easy one there. Oh, I've got another raven here. Two ravens. up and kill things. Can't. We've run out of identifying identification scrolls. That's defense 16, that's 12, so this is better than this. And an amulet. Okay, so we're going to have to identify these when we get back to the camp. Loving these ravens, they're actually really handy. Oh, I just, I'm just attack it. Stony field. So we're going to have to carry on looking 
for the uh, oh, what we got here, stamina shot. That's good. That means we can run infinitely. I can't carry. Well, I'm overburdened here. I feel I'll be using some of those potions. In fact, I might take one now. And pick another one up. Can't do anything with I can't breaks. carry anymore. I wonder if you've got no room for the lock. Well, wear it, but if it's unidentified. I think. I don't know what the sell value of these is, but it's not a lot. I might just chuck these on the floor. Yeah, that ring needs identification. Right, we'll take the potions. Monastery. Oh, we can try the uh, vine thing next when we level up. Too long before we level up. Oh. Right. What's over here? Burial grounds. Planting the dead. That's about right. I think this is where, if we go to our quest log, kill Blood Raven. Right, I've got my uh, potions there, handy. Two ravens. My army will destroy Switch to werewolf mode. Right, these ravens can go out and attack those. management going on there. Oh, where is she? There she is. Oh, she keeps hitting me with that cold thing. This is hard work. Right. Let's, um, let's move me potions into here. Can't do a 
third one. Okay, um, yeah, let's move that one down to here. Right, let's go for her. There she is. Oh, I keep missing her. Got half of her down. Ravens are pecking at her. Uh, hitting me with the coal. for a reward. Is Your she time anything? has passed, Blood Raven. All right, excellent. Okay, so what, what I'm going to do is we'll go out of here and we'll go back. We can use the town portal scroll to go straight back or I'll show you how the waypoints work. Kill a couple of things on the way just to. Uh, we've nearly, uh, if you look, we've nearly leveled up to the next level. Oh, let's top the potions up. It's just, it's just corpses from uh, our last visit. Ah! being regenerated. Oh, I've leveled up. Oh, there's, there's a well here. Right, we'll just kill this lot and then we'll make our way to the... Uh, well, uh, the waypoint. New stats. We're nearly all up. Needs to keep being regenerated. There's a poxy uh, shaman kicking about somewhere. There he is. <laughs> now they're going to be proper dead. Right, so we've got six points we can use. So I reckon one, two. Nearly all at 26 there, and we've got a new skill. Oh, I want to try the Poison Creeper. So let's switch that over there to the Poison Creeper. I'm going to head over to the uh, waypoint, which is here on the map. Creeper, look at that. Yeah. Oh, I'll get rid of the map so I can maybe see it a bit better. The vine just follows me along. Right. 
I want to use that again, so let's just find some more creatures before we go in that waypoint there. There we go. <laughs> Oh look, it's too late, the vine. Oh, that is cool. Oh, I want to yeah, I'm gonna find some more. Just before I clean the map up again. Let's go somewhere unexplored. Oh, there's gotta be some creatures around here somewhere. Ooh, not a bad point. Maybe not. Oh, a couple of these. <laughs> Do you mind going to the... Oh, I didn't have to touch him. Let me rave it. Right, let's get back to the uh, to, uh, the um, waypoint. There we go. So we just go onto here, and then walk on it, and we can see where we can go. So we're on the cold plains. We can go to the road encampment. They, all these are uh, not available yet. And we're back here. So to finish our quest off and the video, we'll just hand this mission in to uh, whatever her name is, Cassia. Where is she? Just down here a bit. There she is. Greetings. I can hardly believe that you've defeated Blood Raven, though she was once my closest friend. I pray that her tortured spirit remains banished forever. You have earned my respect, stranger, and the allegiance of the rogues. I have placed several of my best warriors at your disposal. Excellent. So now I've got a, I've got a, um, I think it's an Amazon girl or a bit in my party now. Might help them all the merrier. So what I'll do, I'll save the game at this point. And then uh, I will do, at some point, a con continuation video of this. Um, I would like to uh, show some other games as well. So maybe the Baldur's Gate 1 uh, remastered version. So I might get hold of that. Um, obviously, Age of Empires 1 and 2. Definitive editions, I have those, so I'll be featuring those at some point too. And then maybe some other classic games that I enjoyed back in the day. Right, well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.